Good morning. This is our wallapini update for the day, but we're not going to go in the wallapini. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes stuff. Um, my organization system that I do on my computer. The goal for the the goal for the Wallapini is to feed 20 people and so I have created a Google Sheets to organize everything that I'm growing and you can just come look at that right here real quick. So these are the crops that I'm growing and I don't really expect you to see the crops, that's a lot. But I'm just going to scroll down here and these are crops by species and by variety. So as we come down, I'm on line 115 right here with my last entry, which was Oregon Spring Tomato. So I have 115 different varieties of crops that I'm going to be growing. And then I have a couple of more lines that are just things to do. Uh, and then across here, I started in um, the fourth week of October. And then I just, I've built it out for a couple of years to the December week five of next year. So I have my this year in here. So right now we are in the fifth week of December. I've highlighted, highlighted this one red because it's the winter solstice week. And so when I scroll up and down here, my first entry is artichoke, which is imperial star variety. And I planted 10 seeds the third week of December. And then as I scroll across, I will start my outside crop the first week of March. I'm going to start vernalizing uh, the, these ones here on the, tw on the fourth week of March. So my calendar goes by the weeks. And... Anyway, so you can scroll down here to any crop, so we could just pick a random crop. Let's just come down here, and right here is cilantro. So if we scroll out, then the fourth week of October, I planted 10 seeds of cilantro, and then I transplanted them in um, my garden bed, in bed two. I transplanted them on the fourth week of November, and then I started more seeds, Last week, I started more seeds here. So as I do this, um, we will have a plan. So next year, we'll know exactly what we did because I keep this updated. And you'll see that some of the font is red, some of the font is black. The black font are things that I'm planning to do. And once I actually get it done out there in the greenhouse, I come in here, I highlight it, and I turn it red. That's why That way I know I got it done. So as we come down... We're going to go to this week right here on the fifth week. And I'm going to just pull it over here so it's right next to my crop. So we're in this column right there. And here's my crops. And I'm starting with artichokes so I can scroll down. So this week, what I need to do, or I have done if it's red, uh, um, I started Cylindra Beets, Detroit Supreme Beet, and a beet mix packet that I had that was a mix of different colors. It had yellows, whites, um, reds, and then as I keep coming down, and those are all red, so I've already planted them. And then here's Savoy Perfection Cabbage. I started those this week. Keep coming down. Um, heirloom Cutting Mix Lettuce. So it was just um, about 10 different kinds of lettuce mixed together. I started 50 plugs of those. Scrolling down. Candy Onion. I transplanted some that were already growing. They were nice big. We started those way back in October. And I got those transplanted into bed three this week. Um, Tokyo Bunching Onion. I started seeds this week. Just keep going down here. Bloomsdale Spinach and Giant Noble Spinach. I planted seeds. And that was it for this week. So that was done. Um, so for next week, if you look right here, in January week one, I have a bunch of things in black. It's obviously not January one, so they're not turned uh, red yet, because I haven't done it. But next week, I'll start planting um, pak choy, tot soy, imperator carrots, tender sweet carrots, um, snowball, cauliflower, Utah celery, claytonia, um, 
And some of these things have already been planted, but these are just succession crops. Purple potato, um, uh, Yukon gold potato. Those won't actually get done. That was my plan, but I haven't got the seeds here yet. They haven't come yet. Um, um, radish, rutabagas. Now some of these things are already growing out here, but these are seeds I'm growing for a succession so that we, when we harvest it, we have another crop coming on. So this is just kind of a sneak peek of um, how I'm doing this. And then I have another sheet here, right here. So that was sheet one. Well, sheet um, three right here, if I click on that, you can come over and you can check that out. So I have, in highlighted in yellow, I have bed one, bed two, bed three, bed four, five, six, and then what's growing in the stone wall, because we're actually going to be growing things in our thermal mass wall, and we have a line of pots out there that we're going to be growing. So those are, so this is another sheet so that I can write in exactly what's in there and how many feet of space are in each bed. So I have one sheet for all the crops. What were the hundred and what? How many? There were a lot. I think you said 115. And then in here we have it by bed of what I'm actually growing. Because it doesn't do any good to just have your crops listed and then you're planting tons of stuff and then you run out of room. You need to know how many feet in each bed you're actually going to plant things. So how do we know what to plant? It's totally a guessing game. I'm just guessing on what uh, 20 people are going to eat out of this wallapini and so next year we can look back at this and say here's what we actually did on this week and when it came harvest time we har it was way too much we couldn't eat it all or I wish we would have had more of that we didn't have enough and then we can adjust how many plants we're actually planting in each bed in this greenhouse so that's how my organization system is working it doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just the way I'm doing it. That's our wallapini update. Thanks for listening.